is the future of agriculture vertical? At RECOM 13, the ecologist Dix Despommier presents his concept of vertical farming, multi-story agriculture. Well, a vertical farm is nothing more than a two-story greenhouse. If it's more than a story tall, it's a vertical. If it's a single story, it's a greenhouse. Increasing urbanization and population growth will cause the already high demand for farmland to increase further. Currently, the Earth's population of people is about 7 billion, and to feed them requires the size of South America. A conservative estimate right now is that within the next 20 to 40 years, our population will go up to 10 billion people. In order to add land to feed those next 3 billion, you would need the size of Brazil in South America. Architectonic visions of skyscraper farms illustrate dreams of space efficiency, year-round crop production, no need for pesticides and a possibility for reuse. You can use abandoned properties, warehouses, uh, retail stores that have gone out of business, apartment houses even. The concept can even be integrated in office buildings. There are many examples of mixed-use buildings now in which plants are grown to be consumed where you can go to work, sit down at your desk and type away at your computer and do all your work and then you get hungry and all you have to do is go next door and you can pick what you want to put in your salad and bring it back to your station and eat your lunch as you live within the same building. There is a potential target group. Who needs vertical farms? And the answer is the entire Middle East. They import 80 to 90 percent of their food. They're very wealthy but they don't have any pasture land. And potential needs create business models. Imagine a technologically driven country has elected to invest in vertical farming as a technology that it could then sell. So the country of Korea is already doing that. They built one vertical farm. They're now marketing vertical farming to the world.